Hello and welcome! Today I'm going to talk about how to recover a virtual machine into GCP with Vim. Vim has recently introduced this feature and I didn't really find it pretty straightforward, so I'm going to talk about a couple of pitfalls that you should be aware of. Let's get started! Let's go to GCP console and create a new project. Basically there is nothing there configured, so I'm going to show you what needs to be done before we actually attempt Vim restore into that project. And the first step would be to enable two special APIs, Cloud Build API and Compute Engine API. If you do not do that, Vim would error out after a couple of minutes trying to connect to GCP. Back to GCP console, main menu, APIs and services and dashboard. And let's enable APIs and services over there. I need to type in the names of those APIs and click on enable for each of them. The operation could have been done from the cloud terminal, but then I decided not to bother with it. As the APIs are enabled, we need to add required permissions to a special service account. What it is, uh, let's go to IAM settings. And you should be able to see in that clean project, there are three new service accounts. And one of them is cloud built service account. Let's edit this principle because we need to add the special roles over there. The roles would be compute admin, service account token creator and service account user. Now we can finally work on a service account that is to be added into VBR console. There are two ways, as you'll see later, but then I would prefer to, to create my own service account from GCP console and to be granular about it, which means that I will assign the roles myself. Speaking of those roles, I'll need at least compute admin, compute network user, cloud build editor, project IAM admin, storage admin, storage HMAC K admin and viewer. As opposed to adding just one service account from Vim Backup and Application, which would have the owner role. Okay, this service account is ready for use right now. I'm going to manage the keys and create a new key, something in JSON format, which would be handy for my Vim Backup and Application server. Okay, the private key is saved, so it is Finally, I can go to Vim Backup and Application and insert it there using Cloud Credential Manager. The process is really easy because you click on Add GCP Service Account, select Use the Existing Service Account, and by that leveraging the JSON file that we previously have downloaded into the VBR server. Right click next, finish and OK, the account is added and we are ready to launch a recovery procedure, which would be the next step. Now back to VBR and let's find the backup which we would like to recover into GCP. I'm not going to get through wizard, I have written a script that would do it. I just need to change the GCP account, the service account that I have created, the name and then select the virtual machine that I would like to recover the name, how it would be in GCP and define the parameters such as region, zone, instance type, a virtual private cloud, subnet and whether I would need proxy to be used and IP address assigned automatically once the machine is restored. I'll go ahead and run the script. It's being checked for a couple of seconds and then the procedure is launched. So now um, we can go ahead and check it, open the statistics for this particular operation and then actually go back to the cloud console to find the cloud build API and to see the history whether something happens or not. I'm going to skip part of this process because it would take up to you know, 15-20 minutes depending on the size of the VM. But basically you can come here and just see how the job is progressing. And done. 
Alright, so you can see that my task has successfully finished within 10 minutes. Let's come to Compute Engine and check the list of my VM instances. Let's refresh the page. And now you can see that my AZ demo virtual machine, which used to be a Linux server running in VMware environment and then backed up, protected within Mimbacup replication version 11a, went straight to GCP. That's about it. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment. Thank you.